Okay, we may begin now with the invitation. Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us all here tonight. I pray that you be with every one of our leaders so they can be make wise decisions. Lord, I bless that I ask that you bless our, our community and just um, lay your hand on this meeting as we go forward making good decisions and sound decisions. In your son's name, amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Under the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. <laughs> Mayor Smith? Here. Council Member Carter? Here. Council Member Howard? Here. Council Member Tolan? Here. Council Member Gonzalez? Here. Council Member Wara? Here. Council Member Dagobeo? Yep. Okay, at this time, audience is allowed three minutes per person to address the council on any topic. Uh, there will be no uh, discussion or formal action taken, taken on this agenda item. Uh, speaker must identify themselves before speaking, and uh, a speaker request form must be presented to the city secretary. So, I have a meeting. Hi, I'm Thank, um, you. Thank you for addressing the council. Fine. You know, I've uh, moved into the area part time since 2017. So, just five years, I want to compliment you on this city. You, you love it. And I can tell everybody does your job because it, it shows. Um, I am here from Padre Vista, which is on Palo Blanco Drive, um, representing uh, all of Padre Vista. We have um, a corrupted um, pavement taking place um, on the street side. Oh, well, I've only got a couple of pictures that I don't know if we can Yeah, I've heard that it's been repaired in the past. Um, we're hoping that uh, you can come in and possibly do some concrete in that parking stall. Um, I believe the problem that is happening is, is when the dumpster comes in, it's so heavy that it's just um, pushing the pavement up. And if we had a concrete pad, in that area that would probably stop it from happening. Um, the board has talked about uh, twisting the wood fencing at an angle. And currently we've been putting the dumpster at an angle um, for them to pick it up so that he doesn't have to drive in to that location and push that pavement up. So that's what we're hoping um, that you guys can come in and take care of that. We'll do what we can on our end. Thank you for addressing the council. Yep. Is there anyone else? No, that's the only one. Okay. Business. Uh, possible action on following well. Uh, we have the uh, resignation of our mayor. And uh, do we have any discussion on that, council? She, she has uh, resigned. You know, he's going to be missed. Uh, I know that uh, she was very enthusiastic about being there and uh, really enjoyed her years of serving. And she was uh, had her own way of, 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 of being, uh, how can I put it, uh, enthusiastic and energized by serving this community. She loved the community and, and uh, just recently spoke to her about all this. So, uh, with a sad heart, she leaves, but she is also uh, moving on with her family to San Antonio, and where she plans uh, to also do her best over there. I know her children are, are one of them right now, also getting ready for volleyball practice. So, any commentary? 
to be missed for atomic emotion to accept the residue. Okay. Take motion on the floor to separate the motion up. Mayor Smith. Council Member Carter? Yes. Yeah. Council Member Gonzalez? Yes. Council Member Wara? Yes. Yeah. Council Member Degobea? Yes. Motion passed. No. Okay. okay, motion on the floor. I'll second that motion on the floor to excuse uh, Councilwoman Howard and Councilwoman Holy. Right now, second that. Okay, uh, Council Member Carter? Yes. Council Member Gonzalez? Yes. Council Member Wara? Yes. Council Member Degobe? Yes. On to item number two, the minutes. Action to approve the following minutes for June 6, 2022, special town council meeting and June 14, regular town council meeting. We have a, a correction for regular town council meeting. I'm pretty sure it was uh, open town. Oh, so they've got it. They've got it there. Did you get that? Or wrong? I'm, I'm looking for, hold on, for the mayor pro tem? You're saying it was Ms. Howard that made the motion? Yes. Okay. That's my that's my recollection. I'll double check that video. Or my next one too. We have a motion to approve that with that amendment if needed. Yes. I'll second. Motion on the floor to approve the minutes for June 6th. Okay. Uh, Council Member Carter? Yes. Council Member Gonzalez? Yes. Council Member Warrell? Yes. Council Member Degobeo? Yes. Minutes for June 14, 2022, regular town council meeting. Is that all been? I think it's in both. Oh, yeah. okay. On to business number three financial reports, town bookkeeper. So Crystal um, and her daughter ended up with COVID over the weekend, so she's not here. So, um, uh, huh? Uh, yeah. So, um, so you have the check registers and the um, summary budget to date. And since we're having the um, budget meeting next Tuesday, I told her not to worry about the rest of it. That we can supplement whatever you guys need, obviously on Tuesday. So I just want to. On to item number four. Uh, B and Z determination of sunset lease subdivision, consideration of possible action regarding planning and zoning, determination on the subdivision. So council, um, we had the PNZ meet uh, a couple weeks ago regarding the sunset breeze subdivision and um, their request for three variances and master plans were denied. Uh, I did ask Mr. Um, sure, and back. Close it. Okay, close. <laughs> Mr. Owen, um, to come in and give you guys a little background on what the PNC board decided, and that if you have any questions, and then I wanted you guys to obviously decide to um, do your decision based on what the presentation is. So, Mr. Um, Moran and uh, his a representative from his engineering firm uh, started with giving a a brief overview of the project. They uh, <clears throat> went from there into uh, my request to address the uh, zoning variances that they uh, would like to see uh, granted. One is uh, 
minimum lot width, they want to reduce that on 31 lots, which is 23% of the 134 uh, lot single family residential. They have uh, one of the uh, roadways is in excess of the maximum allowed in the zoning ordinance by approximately 600 feet. And they also want to reduce um, roadway right of way width on most of the roads from 60 to 50 feet. Um, I asked them to uh, explain uh, their justification for requesting uh, those variances. Uh, they presented no hardship uh, whatsoever. There is nothing in the configuration of the tract of ground uh, that necessitates that they do it that way. They're, they only want it because they want it. And um, so, in addition, uh, <clears throat> we talked uh, to several of the adjacent property owners uh, about uh, the potential impact of uh, stormwater. Um, if you look at uh, general notes nine and 13 on the plan, uh, which it addresses lot grading, uh, you'll find that uh, they are recommending a 0.25% positive uh, grade from the rear of the lots to the front of the lots. That is three and three eighths inches in 122 feet, which is uh, quite frequently their lot length, particularly on the lots that do not meet minimum requirements. Three inches in 122 feet does not move stormwater. And I think that's uh, self-evident. Uh, we have a, a significant a uh, problem uh, within our community uh, with heavy rains, it's not going to be any different there. Um, would you like me to go on? I mean, I, I can probably speak for no, you, you don't need 10 to. minutes. <laughs> you don't need to. No. Well, thank you for your service and for taking the time to sit on the committee. You know, I, I, I certainly appreciate uh, being invited to this meeting. Uh, I think it is uh, very important that uh, we get all the input that we can as a town uh, with regard to the subdivision. And I'll also point out that the uh, variances that they're requesting are dated uh, March 11th. And our attorney can answer the question of whether or not they're still valid today. Well, uh, I, did, I wanted to uh, kind of talk to the council about, about this, you know, just to, uh, so that everybody can understand where, where we are procedurally here. Uh, the DNZ uh, considered this this uh, plan application and along with its uh, request for variances, which is the normal procedure under our under our zone, so it's additional. So to include if variances are needed, those will be then included in the application. Uh, in this case, uh, the uh, the application there was no question that that the uh, that the application asked for things that were not in compliance with the ordinance uh, and hence the request for the variance. Uh, but as uh, chairman chair Beck observed that the applicant failed to substantiate the <clears throat> our ordinance has certain grounds that an applicant could establish as a basis to to get a uh, variance granted uh if you'd like to look in your packet on page two of the letter that we sent the applicant regarding the file the grounds are stated there uh, and the applicant failed to substantiate any of these uh, denied it. Uh, procedurally, then the uh, the applicant can request a review of that decision uh, by the council, or the council can, on, on its own, take a look at that decision. Uh, the city manager and I felt that this is probably a big enough and important enough subdivision that the city council should probably kind of take a look at it. Chairman Sherbeck was uh, on the county here explaining the basis for the decision that he said. Um, and so upon on that review, the, the council's option would be to either uphold the, the decision, confirm the decision of the DNC, or, or return the decision of the DNC if it's up for some, some reason, some reason to do so. Uh, procedurally, overturning the decision of the DNC has special requirements uh, that we, we can't meet tonight because we don't have enough 
the council members present, but there would have to be a basically a super majority vote to overturn. We we do have enough council members present to to affirm the decision. Uh, they, the, regarding the deadlines and that kind of thing, we we uh, administration and I were checking very carefully to make sure that that that, that anything that came in uh, from the applicants uh, as an official filing that it was active on within our 30 day window. I think maybe the watch date was just a lot of work plans there. Probably had to do with with uh, some of the engineering work that went into the applicant's packet, but the packet was not presented to us until June 3rd. And so we, uh, we had a meeting with 30 days of that. And this council is hearing this hearing and we're uh, engaging in review within 30 days of the PNC's decision. So we're, we're certainly timely in terms of the procedural procedures of our statute and our ordinances. But uh, regardless of any timeliness issues on the part of the applicant, the applicant simply didn't, didn't meet its, its burden under our uh, ordinance to try to get the, the, the loan deficiencies taken care of by the parents. That sense. Uh, motion. I'd like to make a motion to accept the PNC's determination of not accepting the uh, very. Oh, Right. Council Member Carter? Yes. Council Member Gonzalez? Yes. Council Member Warrell? Yes. Council Member Jacobea? Yes. Thank you. So much. Thank you guys. Thank you again very yeah, much for having me. Yes, sir. Well, thank you for keeping an eye out for the citizens of the community. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Item number five, board appointments. Amen. Uh, we need to, now that we have all the staffing settled on the city side, we needed to appoint uh, for the, um, on the CDC board, we just need to make the administrative changes to place myself as the general manager and then Crystal as the finance um, director. Slash, slash, I'm sorry, slash corporate secretary, yes. A uh, motion to appoint Randy Gonzalez and Chapa. Seaboard? The position is listed. Oh, the yeah. one is the Union Corporation General Manager and Finance Director for the city. I'll second. Uh, Council Member Carter? Yes. Council Member Gonzalez? Yes. Council Member Warrell? Yes. Council Member Dagobeo? Yes. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 I, I love being volunteer. <laughs> okay. Onward we move number six. Uh, the Willow East at the New York Corporation uh, fiscal year budget 2023 budget consideration action to ratify the CDC Corporation uh, fiscal year 2022 23 budget. So the CDC met last uh, week and voted to approve their budget and um, they just did, they basically repeated their budget from the prior year and uh, we're just submitting it to you guys for, um, to ratify their decisions. Second. Council Member Carter? Yes. Council Member Gonzalez? Yes. Council Member Warrell? Yes. Council Member Dagobeo? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, item number seven, ordinance number 2022-04. Itinerant vendors, consideration of possible action on second reading of ordinance. 2022 or revising ordinance number six dash ninety four. So we talked about this the last meeting. This is the regarding the peddler's license. So Mr. Ozuna has incorporated um, the changes that we've discussed. And this is just a second reading of and just in summary, those changes were to, to modernize the language. Got rid of the use of the word uh, peddler and other synonyms for that, and just replaced it with itinerant vendor, which has a definition in the ordinance, which is basically 
anyone who doesn't have a permanent place to send the goes door to door or operates mobile on the purpose. And then the, the council's direction doubles all of the costs associated with getting the license, except for the one applicable to the journey or not and these like the person. That was basically the summary. There were some other cosmetic things that cleaned up just to kind of conform to our more modern version. Yes. So, uh, I met with and do I understand it correctly that once they have a permit, they are allowed to go uh, from house to house, but if you have a no solicitation sign on it, they are not allowed. To that, that's right. It's a condition of, of, the, of the license that the, that the license holder honor the, the, uh, the landowner or the homeowner's uh, instructions about whether or not they're interested in getting solicited uh, business needs to bring up. Now, that, 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 and like I explained last time, it doesn't impose any kind of make it a criminal violation necessarily under the normal criminal law, for instance, like a trespass or things like that. It does cause the, the license holder to be, this he or she is violating in terms of the license if he or she decides to disregard and sign the law. Signage. You know, we had some weird yep, sort of right. wording yeah. before. We're not. We're not. I took, I took that out and just said that as long as the sign indicates, you know, a, a desire not to have someone come and solicit, and then it's sufficient mm -hmm. sign. It's it, it was. I think the the old ordinance had had to have specific language that yeah. said no no peddlers or something. So so yeah. Yeah. So peddlers do not enter something. Now it's, okay. now it's just a sign that indicates the landowner desire not to have solicitation permit. No, no soliciting. Yeah. No, no <laughs> read, read this. Read that, yeah, that's it. Bye. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, number eight. Uh, since it's second reading, I'll go ahead and read the captain ordinance. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, ordinance uh, uh, number 2022 uh, 04. It's an ordinance of the town of Laguna Vista, Texas, prescribing rules and regulations for the issuance of licenses for the town of but repealing ordinances inconsistent with herewith and providing. So moved. I make a motion to approve ordinance number 2022 04 in terms of vendors. Council Member Carter? Yes. Council Member Gonzalez? Yes. Council Member Warrior? Yes. Council Member Dagobeo? Yes. The motion passes. On item number eight, where we need discussion on the second session, and it says this is still a. Just wait for the other one to come back. Yeah. Are we, about what we talked about. Wait, Carter just mentioned uh, holding on to the vending session so that we have all this. It's widely worded. Mm -hmm. It's widely worded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll any agenda. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing specific. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's talk. All right. We only need to specify which item and the way I can point out the exception. So, motion. Um, yeah, motion to remove the exception. I'll second. Wait, so who's, who's seconding? So, Sorry. my part. Uh, Council Member Carter? Yes. Council Member Gonzalez? Yes. Council Member Warrell? Yes. Council Member Degobeo? Yes. So, executive session at 626. You guys just want to go. You didn't make your six. <laughs> 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 yeah, do you want to go into my office? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 